Hello. I'm back. Hi. Chapter 14. Lot's Captive and Rescue. And it came to pass in the days of uh, Amalalth, king of Shinar, Eroch, king of Elzar, Sheldermain, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of nations, that they made war with Bar, king of Sodom, and ba Barso, king of Gomorrah. Shede Shedebo, king of... <laughs> September! No. Uh, that's almost what it looks like. <laughs> Let's get his name. Shambur, king of Zebum, and the king of Baal, that is Zor. All these joined together in the valley of S Sidim. Sidim. That is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Charlemagne, and then the twenty year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year of Charlemagne, the kings that were with him came and attacked the Ephim, and the Astroth, Canaan, Zemeth, and Ham. Uh, the bear with me. I, these names are pretty nasty, pretty hard to. Speak. Now it's not nasty hard. Iman and the Silver Cathum and the Heretites and their mountain of Sarah. As far as Alpon, Alpran, which is by the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to Ena Ephesus, that is Kanush, and attacked all the country of the Armagites. Arm 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 Amalek, Amalekites, and also the Armenites, who dwelt in Heza Terror, and the king of Sodom, and the king of Gomorrah, and the king of Ambrom, and the king of Zebel, and king of Ba, that Zor, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Sidim against Charlemagne, king of Elam. Tidal king of nations of Eth um, Ralph. King of Sherry. Ah! A Roach, King of Ezer. Four kings against five. Now the Valley of Shendrum was full of asphalt pits. And the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled. Some fell there, and the remainder fled to the mountains. Then they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their positions and went their way. They also took Lot, Abram's brother's son, who dwelled in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. Then one, one who had escaped came told Abram the Hebrew, and he dwelt by the Tabith trees of Mar the Armnite, brother of Eska and brother of Ar. And they were allies with Abram. Now when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his house, and went in pursuit pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Hebron, which is the north of Dramacus. So they brought back all the goods, also brought back his brother Lot and his goods, as well as the women and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him in the valley of Sava. That is the king's valley. After his return from the defeat of Charlemagne. The kings who were with him, Abram, Amalistic king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High, and he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God and Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies in your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. Now the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons and take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord, 
God Most High, the perf possessor of heaven and earth, that I will take nothing from a thread to a sandal strap, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich, except only what the young men have eaten, and the portions of the men who went with me. Er Amar let them take their portions. All right, well, I was having problems with possession. You could tell. <laughs> I know how to pronounce that word. Is this like sometimes I have a problem with the words that I can pronounce really well. It's just for some reason my tongue decides to get tied up. <laughs> but, it, but anyway, God. Uh, anyway, Abram saved Lot. And that wasn't by his own power. That was God. God delivered Abram's enemies into his hands. He was able to defeat them because of God. And here, you could tell that the king of Sodom wanted to, you know, make him rich. Abram didn't want to be rich. He was fine where he was because he was rich in the Lord, God. He didn't need anything else. I mean, yeah, he had a lot of, you know, a lot of servants, which you could tell by the count was a hundred, hundred and, let's see here, 318 trained servants he had. He had a lot of servants. Abram had a lot of servants. And he also had a lot of cattle, too. I mean, that's a pretty big number of people they had with him. Um... But it was God, by God's power that his enemies were delivered in his hand, and he saved Lot, his uh, nephew. Yeah, it does call him his brother. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, like I said before, we're all God's children, so we're all sister and brothers. Uh, but anyway, it's interesting because, I mean, I've heard of Shalmane. But a part of his arm, the army being taken out by God, yeah. Um, and that's the only time that they talk about Char Charlemagne. Uh, there are read history books about Charlemagne, but it's interesting to find out that Charlemagne was during the time Abram was around, which was interesting. Um, but anyway, that's all I have is the fact that uh, Abram saved his nephew a lot and the enemies were delivered into God's hands. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Father, I thank you very much for this word that you have about how Abram came his focus on you and you delivered his enemies into his hand. You saved his nephew from from being taken, Father. Excuse me. And Father, just help people to come to my, you know, come to channels so they listen to the word and they'll accept Jesus into their heart, Father. Help this this channel that I have be a blessing and bring more people to you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' heavenly name, amen. Talk to you there. Bye.